Hello Minecraft friends, this is Trethany. Welcome to my how-to series in Minecraft. And in today's series, or today's episode, not series, episode, we are going to talk about Redstone Basics. Probably figured that out from the title. But I'm going to teach you a little bit just of the basics of Redstone. Hopefully I could fit all of this in in the 15 minutes. But let's start off with the button. Now Redstone is these things all right so it's this stuff that's in my hand that is redstone but what is redstone redstone is just like electrical wire that you could do many different things in minecraft and you could light up things you could th make things move you can make circuits and there are some people that are so good with redstones they've created microprocessors and computers and cell phones and everything in Minecraft so there's an unlimited amount of things you could do with redstone the only limitation really is your imagination just like with everything in Minecraft so let's start off with redstone so this is like I said this is redstone you lay that down that's the electrical wiring just like that and let's start off with the basic thing buttons buttons you push and it turns on see that and it turns off without you having to press on it again so if I press on it again it turns on the electricity electricity runs this way turns on my light redstone lamp and it also makes my dragon head move did you know that you can make the dragon head move you can if you have electricity run into it see it moves just like that isn't that pretty cool now so the difference with that and the lever or lever whatever whichever way you want to pronounce it is the lever is an on and off switch just like your switch at home for your lights so right now it's on and I have the redstone lit up see so if I hit uh, it, the lever it turns off the electricity and you don't see it light up anymore but if I turn it back on and this is one of the things I want to show you is with redstones um, so if I take this off the redstone torch notice the light turned off on the redstone if I put it back on it lights it up and the reason why it's lighting up is because that redstone is actually lighting up that uh, that redstone torch is lighting up the redstone wire that's below it without it it won't light I would have to put another block here and then it would it would light still see see there you go it to change the it to change it to on and off the electricity to on and off and but if if I don't have that and I want to have the redstone lit at a lower level like that instead of how I had it with the block I have to put a redstone torch up there so it'll light up that redstone it directs current from up there down there and sends the, the electricity down that way one of the things you'll notice here is that the, the, the red, redstone's lit up all the way down here because I have a slab the slab doesn't cut off the electricity coming from a redstone but it does with a solid block just like that so you notice how it doesn't light the redstone lamp either and it doesn't continue if I change that to a slab just like this it would let the electricity flow through if I put back this block notice it cuts it off so blocks cut off the electricity if it's if if you have redstone wires going through blocks like this and you want it to go underneath but you want to cover this for some reason you can't do it with a solid block you have to do it with a, a slab or stairs the stairs will work as well all right so that's a lever different from a button the button up you press it and it turns it on and off by itself but the lever you have to actually turn it on and turn it off just like a regular switch all right so let's go over here what I have what do I have here so what I want to show you is how far electricity travels from one block to the other it's any electrical current like on a torch like this will have up to 15 till it stops all right see how see how lighter the color is um, so it could go up to up to 15 so even if I put 
a button, it would only go up to 15. See that? So it didn't turn on my redstone lamp. So if I put the redstone lamp here and then I press the button, it will turn it on. See? And same thing if I put my redstone torch back on so you can see a solid state light going through and it travels up to 15. So if you want it to go further than that, then you're going to have to add one of these redstone repeaters to extend it. See? And in, in another episode, we'll talk about what the switches do on these repeaters. But if you want to extend it past the 15 blocks, you have to put a redstone repeater to extend it out. And so if I put the light here, the redstone lamp there, and add the wire, you see how it's lighting it up? It's stronger and it'll light up my block. Okay. So remember 15, it, it travels up to 15 before it, start, it stops. It doesn't have enough juice to light up whatever you want to light up at the end of that trail. Okay. So that is the distance of electrical current. I believe there are some other things that might not go further, but as, as of right now for this tutorial, most of everything goes up to 15 blocks and stops the current. All right, so what is this? This is a, a repeating circuit. What does that mean? Once I've turned this off, the electricity that I've flown through the circuitry has now gone through around and it's constantly feeding itself, see? So that's why it's blinking. And the, the, the timeliness of the, that blinking can be controlled by these switches that are repeaters. And like I said, we'll talk about that later in another episode. But if you wanted to create something that blinks just like this, or if you wanted some power source that's continuous, see if, if I take this off, it'll still continue. And I add this because it will stop the current and an on state. But if I turn it off, it'll push enough electricity through so that it'll constantly feed itself and it will be a repeating power. So this is like an unlimited source of power that just continuously runs. And if you wanted to light up some things um, and a repeated power like this, you could. I mean, you could do that if you had this on and off switch as well. But if you wanted anything that had some cool lighting effects like this, where it's blinking and things, this is something that you can do. Okay? All right, so let's do a summary of what we learned in this episode. The button is an on and off switch, but it's temporary. It turns off by itself. The dragon can be powered, and the redstone lamp can be powered by electricity. As you notice, it doesn't light without any power. It, it's unlike the other lamps that are on all the time. But this, if you want to light up a redstone lamp, like at night, um, you can power it and it'll turn on and it makes the dragon head move too and the other thing oh and uh the lever is just like your on and off switch at home on your lights you can turn it on and you can turn it off and turn it on and off state just like that okay and if you want current to flow through to the other side but it needs to go underneath something you have to use slabs because if you don't use slabs and use solid blocks just like that, it'll cut off the power and no electricity will flow through. And I forgot to show you this as well. So if I turn this on, there's power back here, but it doesn't do anything to the skeleton head. I believe the only head that does get animated is the dragon head. All right. And then as the distance from a power source is 15 blocks like that I showed you and if you want it to go past 15 blocks you have to add a repeater and depending on the strength and we'll talk about that in another episode uh, because some things require a different strength to light it up or to turn it on and um, so you'll want to have a repeater just like that okay so if I didn't have the repeater it wouldn't turn on I could put a light redstone lamp here and it turns on that's just enough power for it to turn on 
But without that repeater, nothing will get turned on. See? All right, so this is 15. Oops. And it has to be the right direction, so you have to have the repeater pointed that way. And you'll see the arrow that's in the repeater, and it directs the electricity further out. It's like a booster trend, uh, for electricity. Okay, and then the last thing I showed you was this is a continuous power source that's causing electricity to blink, and you can control that by these switches. See how it's slower? These are like delays on the repeaters, and you can make the blinking a little bit slower. So if you wanted to do some type of circuitry or some kind of blinking flashing light, this is kind of circuit, basic circuit that you can do to make that happen. All right, folks, that is the episode on basics of redstone. I hope you learned something. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel to Truthany, please do so. I'd really appreciate it. And turn on your notifications so you know when I've uploaded a new video. And as always, go through gaming, connect with people, and thank you for watching.